Now let's proceed with solving logarithmic equation. Okay. The process in solving logarithmic equation is like evaluating logarithmic function. Pero yun nga lang, dito, meron na tayong may kita na different variables. We have y, x, b, if we're looking for the base, y, and x. So, so first step, first step, write into exponential form. Okay. So, let's go natin sa exponential form. Let's say example number 1, logarithmic of 10 to the base of 100 is equal to y. So, pag exponential, this is 100 raised to y is equal to 10. Okay. Pag nasa exponential na siya, we can solve for the unknown variable. For this time, y. Dapat, pares ng base. So, mas malit si 10. So, just copy na to. Now, si 100, dapat base of 10 tayo. Now, anong magiging exponent niya? 2. Kasi 10 times 10, 100. Anong mangyayari kay y? Just copy. Okay? So, pares ng base. So, may 1 dyan. So, 2y is equal to 1. Now, divide by 2. Y is 1. Pares lang talaga na evaluate it. Iba lang yung variable. Iba lang yung variable. Iba lang yung variable. Okay, nagkataon dito, pares na evaluate Ito naman, this time, nawawala si x dito. We're in resulting number. So, we have... 7 raised to negative 2 is equal to x naman. X naman ang hinahanap natin. So we just need to simplify. Hindi pa ito masisimplify kasi negative exponent. Anong gagawin? Going fraction. Ibababa natin. This will become 1 over is equal to O, binaba natin ha? So, magiging positive na siya. Now, for the final answer, 1 over 7 square. That is equal to. Ay, ganun lang. Ang magkatali na ba? Ay, okay na kahit ano. X yun. Okay lang. Pagbalik na rin, okay lang rin. This time, base is unknown. Base is unknown. So, then ba agad? So, base is B. Exponent is 3. Is equal to 1. How to find B? So, B. B. How to find B? Ay, yung dalawa. Yung dalawa muna. Ay, yung sila. Ay, ako. Ay, sila ba? Yung dalawa, yung mga best friend na nag-uusap ko. Si Irina ka na nag-uusap ko. Oh, ito muna. Paano mo kuha si Pete? Sagot na po ba, sir? Hindi, ako. Ano muna yung step? Ay, step, sir. Hindi ko alam. Ano sagot mo? Five. Galing mo. Ano yung step? Five lang alam ko. Step. Five. Square one. Sige. Five times five. Tapos ano? Five times five. Ah, mental nya. Yes, Ruiz. Mama, match mo si yung ano. Match you, match you. Aha. We're looking for B. Mamaya na. Ina na panatit si B. Ano? Right step. Para mawala si cube. Ano ginagawa natin? You? No, 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 no. Cube root. Get the cube root. Sabi na eh. Cube root. So, cancel na yun. <laughs> Although, tama naman, cube root of 1, 2, 5 is 5. Hindi, yan ay variable. Ang sa bakal. Sabi ko, ganun-ganun. Ang 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 sab
Next, 27 raised to y is equal to 3. Oh, solve for y this time. Ang base natin 3, so just copy 3. So we have si 27, dapat naka 3 din yung base niya. 3 times 3? 3 cubed. Ano may yari kay y? Copy. Copy. Yung goal natin, parehas na yan. So, 3y is equal to? 1. Divide by? 3. 3. 1 third y is 1. <coughs> How about number 5? B. B is unknown or the base? So, B. Raised to negative 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over 8. Fraction plus negative exponent. Anong gagawin natin? Gagawin? Oh, gawin daw muna natin itong square root. Pwede kaya? Yes. Oh, pag ginawa natin itong square root, magiging square root of B raised to negative 3. Yan. Diba? Kasi yung denominator, siya yung index. Tapos ito yung exponent natin. Is equal to 1 over 8. Gusto natin tanggalin ngayon si square root. Kung tinanggal mo si cube root, cube siya. Tapos ito naman. Cube root. Isa pa ulit. Paano natin ang galing si square root? Square. 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 Di ba? Matali mo talaga si Ano. May sakit pa yan ha? Now, mawawala na si square root. So, become B raised to negative 3 is equal to 1 square, 1 over 8 square. 64. Ang goal naman natin ngayon, mawala si negative 3. Negative 3. Exponent niya ng negative 3. So, ibababa muna natin para maging positive. So, this will become 1 over 3. B cubed is equal to 1 over 64. Oh, para mas naging complicated. Ayaw ko na. Mas naging complicated ba? Pero okay lang. Pero okay lang. Hindi okay? Okay, pag hindi okay, o oh, ito sir, parang ayaw ko ng fraction, kaya ang goal natin, walang fraction. So, hindi na tayo mag-focus. Paano mo tatanggalin to? Okay lang sana kapag passive. Kasi cube root ka agad, paano number 3? Eh, negative siya. So, i-erase yung negative. Charge lang. Sabi yung sir, hindi rin times dog po sa negative. Oo, pwede. Yung exponent, hindi ah. Pwede lang i-times yung coefficient, yung base. Paano na na yun? Pwede na ba natin kulin yung cube root niya? Sir, wala na sir. Nakawa ka. Ang tamaan. Okay lang yan. Hindi naman nabasa. Next! Ay! Wait lang. Ano ginagawa natin dyan? Rational na siya. Rational siya, di ba? Fraction. What if mag-cross multiply tayo? O, di ba? Mag-cross multiply tayo. B cubed times 1 is equal to 64 times 1. 64. Wala nang negative. Oh, yun lang pala yung cross-multiply lang pag tiyo lang. Now, parehas na ng number 3. Paano tanggalin si cube? Gagano, no? Square root. Cube root. Cube root. So, B now, cube root of 64. B is 64. 4 times 4. 16 times 4. 64. So, this is? Oh my God, ang galing! 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 Galing, no? Tapos pag ano, homework na hindi nakalas. Okay, next, ito. Magaling din to. B 
Prince to 4 is equal to 16 over 81. Paano tatanggalin si 4th rule? Um, oh, di 4th rule aja. Si 4, power of 4, and di 4th rule. So B, 4th rule of 16? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Ay, walang galing na doon! Galing? Over 4 root of 81. 3? 7. 3. 7 minus 4. Ano naging 3? 3 times 3. 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 Three times three. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. 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 i how about this? Ay, naku decimal. Naku decimal. Ani... Ani decimal. Decimal. O, paano yan? So, ispo lang lagi yung decimal point. Yes, mamove lang natin. Ilan nyo? Ilang move? Dalawa. 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 Tatlawa. Dalawa. Dalawa na. Dalawa na. Dalawa na. Dalawa na. Tatlo lang. 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 Ha? Dapat siya ibaging 0 0.001. Ano yun? Pero ilan ang magiging exponent? Ilan mo siya na ba? Pag walang decimal, andito automatic. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dalawang zero ang i-add natin. One, two. At ba yung dito na yung decimal? Ilit, ha? Di ba? In writing decimal, for example, five. Nasa yung decimal point niya? Sa likod. Sa kanan. Sa right or sa left? Sa right. Kaya nga, di ba, 5 peso, may 0, 0 yan dyan. Yes. Di lang natin nilalagay. Automatic, may point siya dito. So, likewise, kapag 10 yan, ang decimal mo, nandito. Right? Now, gagawin natin siyang ganito. So, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4. Dalawang 0 i-add natin. Meaning, nag-move tayo backward ng how many times? Four times. Four times. Since going to left, negative or positive? Negative. negative. Kasi papalit yung value. Oh, yes. Now, what is the value of y? Y, y equals negative four. Negative. We <laughs> yung value. Ano ba yung number nine? Ano sa loob nyo? Square root of 3 square is equal to x. O, common sense lang. So cancel, cancel. 3. Square. Kasi diba, copy the base, square root of 3. Ay, exponent 2 na. Oh, parang ginawa mo dito, sa'yo, yan. Cancel mo na lang. Copy. 